this is going to be one of my most difficult rents to ever put out here. Well, let's let's just jump into this jump into this particular rent. How long is going to take for us to realize that all this unnecessary violence, all this necessary unnecessary game banging, fighting against each other, when we're going to realize that it's a form of genocide? That is killing our community. It's killing our family. It's killing our legacy. When we're going to realize that? When we're going to realize that that it's a time to change once and for all? When are we going to realize that? You you know the the funny thing about this is that just like I know months ago, everybody going down and to Ferguson to protest because of. Uh, a white police officer kill a black dude, but yet it's still we all sitting up here killing each other. And I bet we're not gonna go out and protest about that. I bet we're gonna sit up in our house and be cowards about it. I bet we we we're not gonna even um let the police know who did it. For what? Out of code of honor? Or that old silly stupid thing, snitches land in ditches thing? What? For so long, we go through the same process over and over again. We want to scream black power, we want to scream black honor, but we can't even honor ourselves. Why? For what? For territorial purposes? For game banging purposes? Just to prove who you are? purposes now nah. I don't know about y'all but I'm so sick and tired of being sick and tired of seeing my brothers and sister violently being murdered off of stupid stuff now the reason why this affects me so much is because it came out of my own backyard my own family that's why it affects me so much Man, this this young man here, although he he um lived that lifestyle, this young man still had the potential of being great, of being a king. But now he can't even do that. All he has left over is just his legacy, and that's it. So how long is it going to take for us to realize this? How long is it going to take for us to come together as a family, as one? And I'm not talking about just my, my bloodline. I'm talking about all of us. Whoever looking at this post right now. I'm talking about every last one of us. How long is it going to take for us to come together? There are way more things that's, that are going on right now. That's happening right now. And we can't even get, get over this simple thing of coming together. There, and there's way more worse stuff that's getting ready to come up. So how long is it going to take? What is going to take for us to finally realize that we are one? We are one body, we are one family, one mind. Man, it's time for us to change our mindset once and for all. How long is it going to take for us to realize that you need to wake up and change your mindset once and for all? And I'm talking about everyone who's reading this post. It's time for you to wake up. I know right right now, some even some of my fam, they feeling upset and feeling hurt and they feeling that vengeance is the, the number one key and I feel you on that for real. I'm upset about it. But at the same time, if we do that, then what's going to happen? What's going to be the next process? All it's going to do is going to be a continuous cycle over and over again and it's not going to stop until we make it stop. When are we going to take responsibility for our actions? When are we going to uh, finally realize that enough is enough? I think it's time for us to um, do it right now. I think it's time for us to realize that right now. I think it's time for us to wake up right now. Majority of my family right now, that they, they, they say that they saved, that they say they're Christians, that they say that they're born again, and all this stuff. And that's cool. 
But now it's time for you to not talk the talk, but it's time for you to walk the walk now. It's time for us to grow up as individuals. It's time for us to change our mindset. Stop acting like little old stupid darn savages all the time. Stop acting like this is the only way to go. This is the only way we will. Hell no, this ain't the only way to live. No, it's not. Get that out your head. This is not the only way you can live. There's always a way. Even when it seems like there's no way, it's always a way, a better way. But it's time for us to get it together and come together once and for all. This community, we could take this community back. But we chosen not to see their dollars, but we chosen to have this community the way it is. We live in this community the way it is. All simply because we don't care. We worry about our own. We want to grind on our own. We worry about our own self. We worry about our own individuality instead of worrying about the community. When it's enough, going to be enough. So y'all can take this rent however way you want to take it. Fine. I really don't care. But I know for me personally, I'm tired of seeing my brothers being slain in the streets. I'm tired of seeing my family being slain in the streets. I'm tired of waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning, seeing, checking on Facebook, seeing people posting naked pictures of thoughts, abusing our women, seeing these, seeing dudes on here posting how much they game bagging and sleeping with women, not doing nothing for themselves, destroying themselves, destroying their mind, not being the true king and the true men of God that they're supposed to be, and true women of God that they're supposed to be. I'm tired of it. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to know the truth about ourselves. It's time for us to make ourselves free. The only way you can make yourself free is that you got to make that choice right now. Look at this post right now and make the decision right now. What are you going to do about it? It's time for us to fight fate with faith once and for all. What are you going to do about it? What's going to be your plan of action? Are you going to be a little coward, a little punk and do nothing at all? Are you going to be a little cow on punk and do the same old little ritualist thing you do every day? Which is nothing. Or are you going to be extraordinary? Do something that's beyond the call of duty. Flip the script. Change the game. Once and for all. Because this world is not going to care until you care. Nothing's going to matter until you make it matter. So we can, we can justify everything. We can justify everything that goes on, how the way it went down, whatever. We can justify that all day, all we want to. But the whole point of the matter is that when are we going to wake up? When is gonna, when you going to get to a point where you get tired of being tired? When is going to get to a point where you start caring more? When? When is it, when is it going to happen? Now, now, once again, I'm 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 gonna have to attend yet another funeral, all because of something stupid that could be easily avoided. Now, now, to 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 my family, I'm I'm grieving and I'm hurting just as much as y'all are. I really am. But but at the same time, I want to I want to let y'all know that I'm praying with y'all, and we and we in this together. So take take this what I'm saying to the heart. Think about it, and let's do something about it. Let's change the game once and for all, for our legacy's sake.